Yeah, there we go. Got it all back together. And it still powers up. So the little fan runs. I guess they have that calibrated in feet per minute. And then you can change. That's where you can program with this button. You can program the area of the duct or fan you're looking at in square feet. And then that changes uh, the changes to a flow rate. It'll tell you cubic feet per minute. And then you also have this. You can change from, let's see, I guess feet. You can get uh, miles per hour. You can get knots and feet per minute. And then I guess you can get average and peak. Minimum, maximum, and average. There's a hold. This is what they use for, you know, balancing hot air, forced hot air heating systems. You can either uh, work in, you know, if you want to work in cubic feet, they the fancier meters will actually have uh, this. This setting will you you can select your, you know, like a four inch duct, a six inch duct. With this meter, you've got to look up in a table what the equivalent square feet of a given size duct is. And then you enter this, the square feet of the duct in here, and then it computes the uh, cubic feet per minute. So it's a little cumbersome. I actually usually don't bother with the cubic feet per minute because it's just a that's just a number you multiply feet per minute times the cross section of the duct to get your cubic feet per minute so I you know it's it's just off by a factor so I, I just generally use feet per minute and then get my temperature rise that gives you a number that that is proportional to the BTUs per hour so yeah this is the Mannix CFM Master 2 little airflow meter with uh, temperature and then like I say it's got the little RS-232 you know it's RS-232 serial and it would be neat to get a USB to serial adapter and plug in there and then put um, well that would be one step and then the Second step would be to interface that to either an Arduino with a Wi-Fi adapter or a Bluetooth adapter so that I, I can just run this uh, remotely and have it, uh, have it data log on my PC at some other location. So yeah, that might be kind of a neat project to uh, get something going. You could put the little... Uh, Arduino on the back side there and plug it in here with a little right angle connector. That'd be kind of a neat little project. But maybe make this into a wireless device. Get the uh, serial port data logging working because then I could board the uh, temperature and airflow over a course of a couple hours and uh, you know integrate that and see what kind of total how many BTUs per day you get so yeah, that's kind of a neat little meter. I have to play with that a little bit. So just wanted to show you what one of those looked like inside. And we'll go see if it still works.